don't live in the UGB or the city limits, you have 96 signatures, just for the record. I'm sorry, did you hear that? Can you repeat that? The addresses that are outside the UGB, if you take those off, you have 96. Just wanted the well, numbers to be clear on the record, that's all. And that was brought up earlier by speakers. The county, you know, they support the library from the population of the Canby area, which is 30,000, mm -hmm. approximately 30,000 people. Right. Well, it is the city, folks. It is our budget that pays for the actual building. For I understand building. that correct. they pay for the operations. I, I, I get that. That's correct. John? John Drott, 23951. I was very hesitant to speak this evening. Uh, I've spoken many times before. I get the sense that what I say doesn't really have an impact, so there's not much sense in saying it. I think a lot of people have made up their minds regardless of what's said. There was a lot of misinformation spoken earlier in the meeting uh, that I'd like to address. Uh, some points are um, that Penny Hummel said that this wouldn't pass a vote. That's why we don't want it. That was taken completely out of context. What was discussed specifically is that a bond measure would not be supported by people. There's a substantial difference in that at this point in time. Additionally, it was said that I called the people, uh, I think I was named specifically, I called people against this evil. I choose my words very carefully. I never said that. I do take it a bit of a badge of honor uh, to be criticized by Mr. Savory because I must be doing something right if that's the case. <laughs> Um, on the point of the number of signatures, I was not one of the signatures on that petition. I never saw it. However, I would point out that though I do live outside of city limits, my taxes do go towards the Canby City Library. So I do feel like I should have some say in what happens with the library in this town because I spend over $130 a year for this library. Uh, additionally, I would point out something that's not spoken of very often here, and that is there are people, Teresa, one of them pointed out, there are people out there trying to raise a million dollars for this community, for this library. I happen to be one of them. It's already at the infancy stage, it's cost me about eight hours of lost business time for my business that I volunteer to try to raise money for this community. Um, by the end of this project, it's going to end up costing me personally thousands of dollars in lost business revenue to help raise a million dollars for this community. This kerfuffle, which the information could have been gathered offline, it didn't have to go through this process, has set us back a couple of months in the fundraising process. And this, again, this is all volunteer. So you can change and decide to spend your money somewhere else, but you're not just costing the interest, you're costing volunteer efforts trying to raise an additional million dollars for this community. And I don't see a lot of other people out there doing that. So I would ask that you take those into consideration as well in your future deliberations. Understand that it's ironic that in a sense you're, you're killing a lot of volunteer spirit in this community by taking these, this route. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thank you. Any others? Any other comments from the commission? Entertain a motion for adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. All those in favor of adjourning say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Yes. Oh, we got a railroad down there.